Hello, ghouls and goblins. Today's terrifying tutorial is the trending glass spider. So let's get into all of the magic. First off, I'm starting with Oasis of Love. This nude is so delectable by glow tips. Using Studio Black, I'm going to carve out the most spectacular spider web so we have the perfect surface for our glass spider. Now quickly, I just had to go in with some liquid Aurora powder. I could not resist. I wanted to make the background super dreamy and give some dimension for the spider. Going in with Glow Tips 3D Crystal Gel, and y'all, this is so crystal clear, I swear to goodness, I thought I was holding the crystal ball of life. <laughs> I love how easily you can mold anything of your desire. So right now I am creating the abdomen and also I will be creating the cephalothorax. So this spider is going to be completely anatomically correct and just look in all of the terrifying. One thing I love about this crystal 3D gel not only its clarity, because y'all, you can see that chrome coming right through and creating all of the dimension, but how easy this is to work with. It does not get overly sticky on your gloves, and using a little bit of alcohol, you can mold this to ultimate. Like, I stacked two of the balls together for the abdomen just to create, like, the perfect shape. And I was able to merge those so there was no harsh lines with alcohol. Just as so. Right now, on my glove, I have a little tiny bit of alcohol. And that is just merging that to complete perfection. Now I have already top-coated the nail. So this is going directly on a top-coated surface. And I am so impressed with how, first of all, the adhesion. And secondly, how beautiful it looks. So right now, we are moving on to the eight legs. It would not be a spider without those eight hair legs. <laughs> so right now, I'm just selecting the perfect size, and I'm going to go in with my cuticle nippers and create legs of different sizes so we can not only make them segmented, but make them look really lifelike. During this stage, it's really important to get a lot of different sizes, but don't get too caught up on that, because if you attach a leg that is too long, that's okay. You can just go back in with your nippers and define those so that they can be absolutely perfect. Now make sure you've got your flashy close, because you're going to need a flower lamp or a flashy to cure these in their perfect placements. Has anybody seen the classic movie Arachnophobia? Now, I have a healthy fear of spiders, and let me tell you, during the curating and crafting of this spider, there was times where the legs jiggled, and it freaked me the heck out. <laughs> I tried to make this spider as beautiful as possible. I even add some bling in hopes to make it a little less scary, <laughs> just as beautiful as possible. If anybody is inspired to try this trending viral glass spider, please tag me in your creations. I would love to see it. This is so much fun, and all you need is amazing products and the perfect sculpting gel. Today, I used Glow Tips 3D Crystal Gel, and I was so impressed with the clarity and how easy it was to create a work of art. Now I am just going in with their high gloss and making sure I cover this entire spider so we have got a glossy babe. Thank you, thank you for watching this tutorial. Like, comment, and subscribe to get more of this amazing content. See you in the next one.